Welcome back, everyone, to Elden Ring. For a fraction of a second, I forgot what game we were playing. But this is Elden Ring, and welcome to the Altus Plateau. I came back here because, well, it's time to move forward with the game. We've defeated Radon, who was the third major obstacle. Actually, the last major obstacle, because we have three of the great runes. Uh, and that means we can move on forward ahead here in the Altus Plateau. Now this area is big. That's the only way I can describe this place. And there's a lot here and I didn't mean to rock sling against that enemy because that was a bit of a waste. So yeah, there's a lot to do here and some of it I am going to be doing off-screen to save time. This in particular, what I'm doing here is not important at all, but I don't think I've shown this part of the game or this part of this map. So we're gonna do it. So we have upgrade materials to collect. We have ghost glove worth to get and some bosses to beat, but today we're just gonna be focusing on getting the map and all the usual stuff. The administrative stuff, you know. It's a stone sword key, that's actually fairly worth it since I just used two of them uh, in the previous episode. Going to a dungeon, which was good, but man, that boss was annoying. Hey, there's a pumpkin head there which we're gonna promptly ignore. So yeah, obviously you can go up these stairs, take the difficult path, but why would you do that? Um, much better to go all the way around. Is that a merchant? Or is that a guy with a bow? I think that might be a guy with a bow, but... <laughs> Bok! So he just shows up, right? He just shows up, hmm. Because I genuinely thought that, well, not genuinely, I know he has a quest line in Rhea Lucaria. So what the fuck? It's totally a dude. Surprise. Yeah, enemies start having a bit more HP in this area. Oh, come on, that should have been a, that should have been a parry. for it. No, don't shield bash me. I'm gonna get this. This this fool is getting parried. No, he's not. He's, he has a little help as well. Oh, come on. Shit. I jumped into it. Well, that was a fail. Um... I'm getting better at parrying in this game, but I'm not getting that good. A lesson learned, luckily. The amount you have to run back ain't exactly a lot. And there's a ghost thing up there. What? Oh, come on, fuck. And he has force too, which is not called force in this game. So what I was trying to do here... Excuse me? Did he just blast me and... Oh, okay. Well, never mind then. I lost some souls there. I will survive. It's like... It was like 1000, so... Not the end of the world. If I'm gonna be honest with you. I, th I think I'll survive not having a thousand souls, extra souls with me. Hello? Oh, Earth Tree Greater. Yeah, oh yeah, it's right here. Alright. I mean, they're kind of all over the place, these ghost guys. So anyways, there is the map, which is 
our main goal. And I think what might be sort of good to do here, just thinking of what to tackle first, is Margit, right? The second Margit encounter. The good thing about that is... I'm actually blind. The good thing about getting to Margit is he drops probably one of the most useful uh, runes in the game, although he is kind of far away. There's the Godskin guy as well. We have a lot of options, so... Let's speed things along here and I'll decide on the way what I'll do. Shout out to the view here. Um, I do really like the, the lighting in this area. I think they really nailed it. It has sort of a different atmosphere to some of the other areas in the game. Oh, with this sort of... It, it almost looks like it, the sun is constantly setting. Pretty cool. Alright, we're gonna talk to the crone here. And she's gonna talk her shit. Oh yeah, let's stand in front of her. Let's do it. God, they're so weird looking. Someone needs to do like a deep dive close up look at these things. Is she holding her staff with her feet too? Or no, 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 she's not. Yeah, 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 cool. I mean, depending on how you do against these bosses, what she's saying is very, very true. So that bottom path here in the forest has some good bosses. It has the worm face, I think it's called. Uh, which is okay. But I think let's try the... Let's try the god skins. What do you sell? Uh, stone sword keys, ancient dragon, apostle, cookbook, arrows. Why does he sell that? Imp shades contains information about imp. Sh what? Uh, it's just weird why he sells this. Is this like a unique armor? That's the only possibility. God, this, this actually, this area looks really good, actually. I didn't know there was a fog version of the weather pattern. Anyways, we're trying the windmill village. Um, the god scheme wasn't that difficult on my first run. But you know how it goes. We do have Mijik, so I don't expect too much trouble. But you never know. And I actually never went this way either. Yeah, I know there's a lot of places I didn't fully explore on my first playthrough. Just leads to another windmill. And I guess these guys keep spawning. Yeah, there are a lot of places I never fully explored on my first playthrough. Which I think is natural. There ain't gonna be. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of places I don't explore on this playthrough. But yeah, we need to start looking for a somber smithing stone six, which I think at this point in the game is when they start being like, becoming more available. Is that a grave warden? Whatever they're called. Oh, you're you're so fucked. You are so fucked. Maybe I'm fucked. He has a lot of HP. Oh, he's like a little magician. What? Hold on. Oh, yeah?
Are you spamming magic at me? He is. And I think he's doing the more advanced version too. Oh, that, that ain't gonna work. Get a rock slung. <laughs> what, what a battle, right? What an encounter. Truly elegant. Oh, don't let him blast me. Whoa, okay. What the hell? He has a little hammer. It's like carrying great sword. Please tell me you drop something. Heima Glintstone Crown, Battle Mage Robe, Battle Mage Manchet. Whoa. I like legit did not know this was here. <laughs> like, like actually didn't know. <laughs> That's super cool. It's definitely a set I'm gonna check out, but man, that hammer spell better be available to you as well. Alright, who is this? Who? What? Is he praising the sun? What the hell is going on? He has a, he's literally, well, first of all, nice speedo. Uh, and he's praising the sun. Well, the earth tree, I should say. He's not actually pre. You know what I mean. All these fools are really praising the sun. Can't even hide it. Alright, now that this battle mage thing was here, I'm definitely gonna take a look around. I mean, this is a named area, too. So. My instincts are telling me there's something here. But we'll find out. Hopefully it's more than just a giant rat. Hopefully. Can you go in the windmill? No, you can't. Do you see that attack though? Alright. It's not blue. Oh, it's giant rat ashes. Okay, it's ashes. Because the thing is, like, more significant items have this, like, purple bluish hue to them. That's how you know it's something critical. Anyways, what I wanted to check out is this. One of the glintstone crowns bestowed upon Rhea Lucaria scholars whose pursuits were deemed worthy increases intelligence strength to the detriment of FP. Scholars of the Hema Conspectus sought the power to quell conflict and to this end studied the sorceries of cannon fire and ga gavel. I thought gravel, but it's gavel. At this point, I'm not ready to give up intelligence for, especially for strength, but this one. Whenever war broke out and the academy sealed its gates, only Hema scholars dared venture outside. Seclusion is no way to foster discovery. It is only a convenient form of escape. It's heavy. No, it's not actually. And that's pretty cool. It doesn't fully match my uh, my set, but it's close enough. It is close enough. All right, let's go back to the actual goal that we're here for, which is the Godskin. Let's check out Mr. Godskin. Well, before we check out Mr. Godskin, there is there's some doing shit here. I'm curious what's gonna trigger them to attack me. Nothing? Really? Huh. 
Because I legit thought that if I take that item, they're gonna attack. And I need to figure out where the hell there's a checkpoint. Because I realize like I'm... I'd be teleported all the way back to the other side. If I died now. One thing though... It's too blue. But it's cool. Like, I, I don't mind it. It's a bit too blue. In terms of the colors matching, but... Close enough. You gotta, you gotta pay attention to fashion souls. Like, seriously. Y you, you can't just, like, ignore that. Fashion is love, fashion is life, as they say. I'm gonna, I like... I'll decide on it. I'm still not 100% sold. Never mind. There's one right here. Yeah, that thing just is too blue. Obviously, the helmet, like the helmet that goes with this thing would be the best choice, but... Anything that reduces strength, I mean, reduces FP, is pretty detrimental to me currently. But that doesn't actually look that good either. So never mind. Oh, and speaking of, I'm so stupid. That Baldekin's blessing. I should just like not pick these things up. I have the dagger as well, which is a quest line that I <laughs> I don't know how to progress. We'll check that shit out. Because, you know, you might not think minus 5% HP is a lot, but believe me, it matters. Blast it. Got a lot of enemies like playing Sonic the Hedgehog in this game. Blast it. Bit of a delay. Okay. Just wait for it. Told you. It would have been cool if the first one took him out. More cinematic, but... I think we'll live through that. These raw meat dumplings... These, I think, increase your attack power, right? But you take more damage, something like that. It's not something that would be very useful for this character. But yeah, let me let me just check this thing out. Uh, the dagger piece. There it is. Dagger received from Fia, the deathbed companion. She wishes for it to be returned to its rightful owner. It was once a special weapon of gold and silver intertwined, but is now worn down and marred by black gash. Oh, so it doesn't give, like, any clues as to who the owner might be. Thanks, From. I think I mentioned this in my review, right? I remember raising this point that... Uh, no, don't skin me, my hide is filthy, I swear. It's so weird. Somebody... There was one of these breakdowns for the Godskin Noble and the Apostle. Uh, you know, you have these modders who examine the character model. I mean, some of the designs are excellent. Like, really good. Godskins being a prime example. Just a super cool design. And their armor. has like faces on it and shit. Very Bloodborne. I mean, listen. This whole area is Bloodborne. And, you know. From. Does reuse a lot of Bloodborne. I mean, you had. Dark Souls 3's. 
little village. This game, which basically contained the same enemies, but, you know. Just a different skin, different god skin. Which really tells me that FromSoft really just wants to make a Bloodborne 2, which is basically where I stand as well. I really want them to make Bloodborne 2, too. Uh, and it's always, like, I swear that thing trends on gaming Twitter every second day, Bloodborne 2. Whenever someone from FromSoft drops, like, a vague clue, everyone's like, Bloodborne 2! And I can only say, I just wish. Oh, you would have been so parried. If I was better at parrying, you would have been so parried. So yeah. Believe me, if Bloodborne 2 happens, I'll be the happiest camper around because... Man, do I love me some Bloodborne. Speaking of, if you join tomorrow from when this video goes up on Wednesday, 9 p.m. Central European time, I will be playing Bloodborne on stream. Probably should have plugged this earlier. Uh, but I'll plug it now. 9 p.m. CET. If you want to see some Bloodborne, gonna do a Blood Tinge build, I think, which... I don't think I've done, but I've done so many playthroughs that sometimes I have no idea what I have and haven't done. So we'll just chalk it up to me not having done a blood tinge run, uh, which we will correct right now. But I think I, now that I think back, I think I have done a blood tinge run. Oh well. Bloodborne is so good that I don't even care. See. These guys are weaker to magic. Because the thing about the rock sling, I mentioned it before, right? That it does physical damage. Hence why it's so effective. Is there no... Isn't there supposed to be a side of grace here somewhere? Oh no, you just have a stake of Marika. Fuck. A stake of America that's like suspiciously close to the boss sometimes. It's like oh, he almost aggros on you right away. Alright, I cleared the village. No one's getting skinned. Did I do good? So I see homeboy right there. Uh, it should bitch. How's your dodging ability? Apparently not so good. Neither is mine. Okay, he's not as strong as I thought he would be. I think you can just bait this out. His ranged attack, and I'm already out of magic. I want to give this guy a shot. These guys need to prove their worth. So these are the gray shield hollows. They're not hollows, but I call them gray shield hollows. All right, Darth Maul, chill out. And what these guys are good at is drawing insane amounts of aggro from enemies. That's sort of their main purpose. Cheap. You see that? Like, because they have great shields. They just... They can just put up with a lot of bullshit. And that I do like. Is this, by the way, the first time I've had to summon in this game? I think so.
yeah <laughs> these these things are broken these things are actually broken uh i've heard about it uh that the great shield soldiers are extremely extremely powerful and i think that's very true i mean obviously this doesn't work for every boss but for a lot of bosses they can just soak up so much damage uh, that it's a little bit insane all right we need to level up uh let's try shooting for that 30 vigor eventually because boy are we gonna need it at this point in the game and yeah that was the god skin easy money let's go back and head towards mr margit And you know, don't worry about the sort of other encounters and dungeons and all this. I will clear all of that shit out uh, off screen. I'm working on sort of the backlog of things I need to do, of which there is quite a few things. But you know, you gotta have a bit of progress in the episode. That's what keeps people engaged. Not like watching me go through some random ass dungeon, and that's about it. What up? I actually never went to that tower, did I? We can take a little detour. Usually these towers do have stuff in them. It may be just something that teleports you to the other end of the map, if nothing else. What the hell? Why did you jump? That was cute. Highway lookout tower, told you. It's a marked point. Uh right there oh you don't need to drop from up here do you cheap they try to get you with that shit too ain't gonna work on me man that would be just purposefully annoy you because all, all that would happen is you would get pushed off and the salt levels would just rise, nothing else. I'm sure this is gonna lead to something fascinating. Game changing, maybe. You can get a nice little vista, photo view. Get that shit on Instagram, although Instagram doesn't want photos anymore. It wants reels. Man, that looks like a mimic chest. Are you seeing that? It's weird because chests do not look like this in this game. Uh, man, wouldn't it be great if there was a single mimic chest in this entire game? <laughs> that would be... That would be quite spicy. Nothing... And there's no other mimics. Just a single one on a pretty important item in, and it just fucks you. Listen, FromSoft, if you're watching, you can hire me as an idea consultant uh, for your next game, which is Bloodborne 2, I'm guessing. And I'll provide endless, an endless stream of things to keep people upset. Man, that would've been sick. If I got that parry. <sighs> Why 
Why are these guys dealing so much damage? All right. I mean, I know why, because I'm weak as hell, but... Come, just let me parry one of them. Thank you. 907. The critical multiplier in this game is... Kind of nuts. Not gonna lie. Like... Obviously, in other games... Critic, like... Daggers and shit have higher critical multipliers, but in this game just everything does, apparently. If you think about it, the backstab did like 500, and this did 904, so just think about that. Melina, Melina, Melina. I'm sure they do here. See how nice America was. She sounds chill. Uh, three. All right, fine. Can't level up either, can I? Nope. All right, Melina, I don't think you've managed to level me up a single time throughout this entire game. And that's not a euphemism. It's actually like that. Where is he? That's him. That is him. That's the boy. Oh man, do I have a surprise for you. Bayonetta style. You have a lot of HP. It's gonna hurt. Yep. I should have rearranged my spells or my flasks. Got him. He has to respawn because. Yeah, there's a stake of America here. Man, that's some good ass tracking. Ouch. I still I still like this boss a lot. For some reason I've seen people bitch about this boss a lot more. And my opinion is always like out of all the Elden Ring bosses. This guy is like the least offensive, uh, and apparently his AI just crapped out or something, because what the hell? That was really strange. He like actually, what, did he run out of MP or something? Very strange. But man does he give a good item. This thing. Let's replace. Man, I have some like shitty. 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 What you call it? Medallions or talismans. Well, that was Margit's second encounter. Uh, even easier than the first. And the first one wasn't that difficult either. Um, I, I honestly couldn't tell you what happened at the end. But I'll take it. I'll take it without any questions. All right, so what's going to happen right here, boys, is I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here, and I'm going to do some stuff off screen. I have quite a lot of things to clear out. By the way, I didn't mention this. I did this off screen, this minor earth tree, got some spells, not spells, um, physics out of it. None of them are useful. So I'll clear a couple of things out which are needed, and yeah, we'll 
continue on in the Altus Plateau in the next episode and towards... I'm guessing we're going towards the capital, but I realize that there's quite a lot to clear out as well. Nokron, actual like Siofria, Riverwell. We'll see. We'll see. For now, I'll wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and catch you next time. Peace out and goodbye.